Hello, Twitch and or YouTube. I've got a quick stream today. Forgot to set up my lightning. Whoops. I uh, don't have too much time because I have to go soon. You got travel things. So you're getting the speed run stream today. Got three issues to get through and uh, actually four. I don't know where my other notification went, but uh, I'll try to get through these as quick as possible. First two are in create TypeScript app. Got a couple of PRs, a couple of requests. Uh, so first up, I'm going to review this one. As usual, if you have anything you want to chat about, please let me know. Always happy to talk. I wrote a book, Learning TypeScript. I think it's pretty great. Please go get it and like it. And I always post everything on social things. First, a PR to create TypeScript app. And last couple of streams, I forgot to check if I should be shouting out people on Twitter. Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> that means up. Morning, Connor. How, uh, how's the child care going? First up, PR to have that cleans up uh, an unnecessary script. Always happy to see you here. Oh, this is back, this blue sky issue. All right, so, uh, posting the PR in the chat and actually taking a look. Uh, the issue it addresses feature replace format right with format dashes right. There were two scripts defined in the create TypeScript app template for running prettier with dash dash right. Oops, that's a typo. The dash dash right flag, no space. One is format and then dash dash right. And then the other is I aliased it with format colon right. I don't remember why I did this. It's not super useful because they do basically the same thing. Two characters saved it is not enough to be worth the extra hassle. Got to approve them workflows. And this person, yep, format colon right, format dash dash right, and all sorts. Hmm, that's, that's incorrect. The idea here was to remove this extra script altogether. They might have missed the point of the issue. This starts happening in around September. Uh, I see a lot of PRs from people who aren't super familiar with the tech, such as life. People are learning. It's always nice to see. It's a little extra work on my end to help support them. Hashtag empathy. But I'm actually curious, does this even work? What they're trying to do? Uh, what did I have open? What was I messing around with? Oh, import or some such? Cool. Um, so if I GHPR check out to their PR, pull, I clear, run. Like, does this work? Uh, I guess it. Uh, is it running this kind though? Hello. I don't know. Can you even format? <laughs> right? Ha! Huh, that's cool. Turns out TIL, today I learned script names give spaces in them. A good start, but you. But let's remove a line from the script rather than just. TIL scripts can have spaces in their names. PPM run format. Right. First PR of not that many today. Because again, I am tired and need to travel. Mostly the travel thing. I got places to go. Next up, get out of here. Actions update. Similar, another PR that someone has been working and contributing. Oh, same person, awesome. Are they ready to... Okay, uh, in the contributing guide, I asked people to re-request review manually. Folks often don't do that, so I'm guessing they just meant to ask for review. 
Um, does this address... I'm sorry, which bug did you... Try? Was that the test initialization or um, uh, migration thing? Because other one... Um, Yeah, there's just an open issue, a couple open issues in the repo that uh, I need to get to and I haven't had time. Or rather, I haven't had the executive focus to context switch over to. All right. Uh, test. So yeah, this one was... Oh yeah, no, that's... Uh, that's. If you want to tackle that, that would be great. Um, <laughs> I just don't want to personally. So it's been sitting there, but eventually I hope to. But if you want to, that would be even better. Um, so the rest, a couple of workflow file repeats. Yeah, because, uh, oh yeah, Prettier is just unhappy about, what is it unhappy about? Yep, yeah, all contributors RC and package JSON. Let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can, can check out the name. Sure, or build and format right? just to get a clean slate for these pull requests. Um, so yeah, this one, uh, previously the package scripts were named like thing test, other thing test, other thing test, and I wanted to be test all. Um, I'm surprised the linter isn't complaining. Started alphabetically. I can just do. Um, I'm actually I'm too tired, I'm too in a rush to do it for them. So, uh, grouping them. And I'll just do it for them. By name is helpful for scanning through and seeing all the options. It helps search. I forgot to ask this before, so I can just do it. I'm gonna start a pending review. Just wanna make sure there aren't other blocking comments. Looks like a pretty straightforward find and replace. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. I can just do it for them. Get our Spain, push. I create test test create uh, initialize test test initialize yep create test test migrates life is good look at all these happy little scripts wait a second yeah, should it, uh, why is it the formatter doing this? I'm so confused. Shouldn't the formatter? I, when I try this locally, the formatter does it. I'm surprised this isn't failing any builds. These CI tasks. What did I, did I just, what, what short, okay. There. Weird. Very weird. I don't know why this isn't failing. It should be. <laughs> it should be failing because I have in my uh, prettier config, prettier plugin package JSON, which says sort all the package JSON things. And then I also have in my ESLint config a JSON C, um, well, I guess, I guess sort keys is off for package JSON, but pretty, maybe that's why. Well, anyway, as long as this is, do it since I forgot to ask before. Yeah, I'll just do it for them. Weird. Uh, and format packages. Actually, wait a second. What are the actual changes? 
Yes. Weird. Very weird. So many beautiful little complaints here. Have I tried biome? Nope. Also, hi Kevin. Thanks for coming in. How's it going? Um, Byron looks sweet, as did Rome when it started. Um, haven't had the time. If I did have the time, I still probably wouldn't. It's still pretty early stage. Um, TypeScript ES Lint is the only, to my knowledge, way to run a linter with type checker stuff, like the, the full TypeScript API usage that powers really powerful rules. See, be linting with type information. And until someone either um, re-implements TypeScript in lower level language such as Rust, or takes the performance hit of calling um, calling to um, the TypeScript API from Rust, then it's just not the same. So yeah, I'm sure performance is great. And I would encourage them to reach out to someone in TypeScript PS Lint to talk about performance of this tool, because, you know. Um, in our experience, performance of Rust-based linters is fantastic. Everyone loves it. But uh, the performance bottleneck of type checking is worth it in most cases. Maybe not all, but certainly most. Ooh, and awesome. I got my little automatic contributor recognizing things. And this is... Okay, this one's failing. That's okay. So yes, it's, uh, performance comparisons are hard to make here because in those 52 seconds are things that the... Actually, let me check check that. Does Astro use type check linting? Have we enabled that? Yeah, so, as, so you use type check linting. It's not a fair comparison. Biome. Um... This isn't a fair, nope, that this isn't a fair comparison. Uh, you, today you use TypeScript, TypeScript ESLint, typed lint rules. Yeah, I wanna be that reply guy who's like, actually, well, I believe the correct phrase is well, actually. Um, and which is likely TypeScript's type checker is likely a majority of those 52 seconds. Is that the 50 you mentioned here? Of the time. Let me just make sure that no one else has mentioned this. See, so guys, going to be snapping faster. Need to keep prettier to format. Uh, if you really want to be snazzy and fast, you could replace it with dprints. Smiles. Smiles all around. OK. Uh, so yeah, they ran benchmarks. Um, so it is going to take way less time. So let me just see. Are they, in fact, removing the yes lint altogether? No, they are not. So they're still using type 2 PS lint. So that's nice. So actually, what are they comparing here? Oh, it's just using biome as a formatter. God, okay, cool, cool, cool. Why didn't you yell at me? Um, At that point, you're already working at low-level language speeds. So perhaps dprint would be a better alternative altogether. Prettier replacement. A couple of places uh, where we, um, where large repos have, uh, we, uh, the TypeScript. How do I phrase this? I want to phrase that uh, 
TypeScript has gone with dprints. A couple of interesting dprint references. Because TypeScript itself is dprinted. You can still obviously use prettier uh, TypeScript code, but um, like dprint is faster than prettier. Oh, and I might say if you really forward those files too, you can replace prettier with dprints. At that point, you're already working at low level language speeds, so perhaps dprint would be a better prettier replacement altogether. Cool. Thanks for uh, letting me know, Kevin. Appreciate it. Uh, a side, li little side comment on an astro around biome formatting. I'm not going to tag anyone or anything because. Dang it, blue sky! What's going on here? Just a quick little thing. Oh, Kevin, are you on, um, what's your, uh, there you go. Wait, there's missing the L-A-R at the end. Receipts. Love that phrase, that statement. All right, um, oh, this notification was just that someone added a feature. Thanks, Lars, thanks, my pro. Uh, all right, I swear to God, I saw an issue on TSAPI details from someone. Aha! What a great person, Lens Webertronic. Kevin, I think this is you. Sorry if I'm mistaken. All right, next up, let's talk about Node and modules and ECMAScript modules. Oh boy. Oh joy, an ESM imports modules issue. Love to see it. This is a uh, lens on. It's on Mastodon or Blue Sky. <laughs> uh, lens does a whole bunch of stuff in like Redux land and with, with TypeScript things. Big fan. So honestly, I thought they were on more social thingies. Okay. Pretty sure I've seen lens on God dang it, Twitter text box. For bringing the bringing There we go, fry. All right, what's going on? Bug cannot be used directly from Node due to module setup. Love to see it. All right. So TSAPI Utils is this nice little package I make. Um, it's also uh, uh, like a, not just useful, but like an interesting history. It's a, like a soft-ish fork, a recreate of an old package called TS Utils that's out of maintenance. A bunch of utilities for dealing with the TypeScript API and its nodes and types. Post that. Oh, I already posted in the chat. So you're supposed to be able to just import things from it. Shout out Rebecca Stevens, someone else who's been helping maintain it. Um, however, oh, looks like Apollo Client is trying to use it and. Um, TS API tools or you I, I think you got the wrong name there, my man. What is TS API tools? Ah, that's a uh, accidental package squad. I originally called it TS API tools and I renamed it to TS API utils. I need to, um, need to change that old package to point to the new one. Can you deprecate through the UI? Um, let me do that off screen. I know you can decorate things in the NPM CLI, but I don't remember if you can do it in their UI yet, if at all, ever. So let's see what, um... oh, thank heavens. 
the package is TS API details now. I renamed originally called it tools, then realized details. Makes more sense as a name. Is there a uh you so uh this might not be a real real significant thing because i know the package has had like tooling and infra updates what is oh first of all hi first time chat thanks for coming over what is the api uh docs framework that you're using for the ts api to deals is it type doc yes it is um thanks for it thanks for asking um i uh sorry my brain is getting wires crossed let me just post this um, oh, but, but I also meant to say, I also meant to say the result of me trying it out locally, which I have to do. So let me see if I can, uh, quickly, I like cloning locally, or clone this thing, code Apollo client. And while that's happening, yeah, so if it's actually a really nice setup, um, if you take TS API utils locally, uh, and go package JSON and where is docs? Uh, PMPM run docs watch and then PMPM run docs serve. So yeah, docs, ignore the type doc complain about type reversion. It sets up type doc and watch mode and then we have a quick little local server that you can get it locally. It's really nice. Um, I wish I wish we themed it and I could have sworn we used to have categories in the uh, <laughs> Apollo client. We used to have categories in the sidebar. I don't know what happened there, but um, code Apollo. There it is. What do I use for the lock? Is it yarn lock? NPM lock? Package lock? Okay. Ah, package lock. What is this? So old. Not PMPM. We should do something like that for TSES lint utils. It needs docs desperately. Hey, file an issue. Send a PR. Would love that. And yes, six months ago. Wild. Um, yeah, I, it's nice. Like the default one could be a little, you know, snazzier, like DocuSource sites, I think are a lot prettier than this, but like it works. It's super customizable. It gets the job done. It's very fast. Uh, I like it. Also, I MPMI, but I meant to check out the commit first. And MPM run test. So TS API tools. Let's see where they reference it. So this needs to get TS API tools replaced with something else. This is now running all the tests, so I want to... Yeah, there's a lot of things like a formatter and doc star, so that would be nice to have in TypeScript. But one of the advantages, I think, of uh, having it separate from TypeScript is that it allows the community to iterate more. Like, imagine if we were stuck with just, like, the type doc design of, like, whatever, five, ten years ago. Um, and then someone came out with another thing, like the way we went from like Gatsby to Astro or like um, DocuSource is still great, but like there are a lot of new features in Starlight that are really nice. And I'm sure DocuSource will take a bond. Building it in first party does make it harder to iterate, but I definitely agree. It would be nice to have something like this. NPM run test and the config ds like the rules folder. CD ds like rules, npm run test. Yep, there's the complaint, cannot find module. So if we swap out with TS API utils, we're gonna make a new terminal window to MPMI. Gotta say, this NPM ran real fast. Uh, so that's 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 a nice thing. I was expecting it to be slow, and I was pleasantly surprised. Oh boy, their name is not defining the scope. Uh, oh, that's not my problem. Ha ha, things run. And okay, yeah, their issues are separate from my stuff. I tried swapping them out locally and it all worked. It's, <laughs> penguin, interesting phrasing. It is an interesting 
thing. The TypeScript team doesn't have enough funding, I think, to do all the things we want them to. I, I don't think it would be reasonable for any language team working in the JavaScript ecosystem to do all the things we want them to. Um, they spend an incredible amount of time. And I realize I'm like the like, TypeScript apologist in here, but um, I think a lot of, I'll be friends, a lot of the issues people have with, oh, I wish the TypeScript team did this, or oh, they should really do that. A lot of it actually boils down to the ecosystem has a set of strong opinions and TypeScript cannot uh, put forward its own opinion without angering large swaths of the ecosystem. They tried it before with things like classes and decorators and uh, didn't work out so well in either of those cases. I mean, they were both successful things that were probably not worth it, but like now there are two compiler options for each of classes and decorators in TypeScript. But yeah, if there are any specific things that they've done that irritate you. I should, um, I should also deprecate. Oh yeah, I was gonna log into NPM and see if I can deprecate this thing. Settings, depre, uh, okay, yeah, so the, I remember this now, the problem, there's a very long list, great, love to hear it. Um, I forget how to deprecate on the CLI, but I remember now that uh, NPM deprecate. I, I want to add a message there. npm deprecates, write the current name, or whatever the name is. npm deprecate. Oh my god, yes, preach. Uh, TypeScript absolutely should add a type relationship API. Do you have uh, the quick link for that? I can get it up in a few minutes if not. Yeah, that thing is a constant irritant for me. I, I really fault the TypeScript team in the most kind, uplifting, gentle, hey, please wait. Oh my god, just give us the type relationship API. It would enable so many things. TS API tools. Renames to TS API details. It's a better name. Yeah. I'll just give it the, the nicer message there. Also, I ran. It is unfortunate how realistic looking the old MDM packages. I ran this just now to help with that. Cheers. And thanks for using Brooklyn cards. Heart on fire. Am I deprecating TypeScript from my package? That's what everyone is doing right now. Funny. I think right now what everyone is doing is shitting on DHH for, um, uh, dropping DHH and team for dropping um oh, where is my won't invalid um yeah so uh popping back through the stack type relationship APIs if I can find it yeah so there's no type of API to ask are is this a site uh, is this type assignable to that other type which would be really useful for a lot of lint rules um I'm not deprecating TypeScript just to be clear I'm deprecating a a utility package, an old package name for a utility package, and I switch to a different name. Uh, name to TSAPI Utils. TSAPI Utils is active, and look at this, three and a half million almost downloads a week. Um, <laughs> shit on, I don't know. Strongly complained about, maybe. Anyway, this is all I have time for today, I apologize. I'm actually flying to France for a wedding for the weekend, which I'm real excited about, and also like, oh my god. The time is hard. I did like two thirds of a deep clean of the house the last couple of days. <laughs> Time to documentary star. Yeah, that's me, a star. I'm still like, why was I in that? Like, I came right after like the PM for Time to Like, that's that's weird. We're uh, very grateful to be in it. Great documentary though. Really excited about it. Um, Oh yeah, and also I, I wanted to post context. Uh, DHH TypeScript is a whole thing because um, I like Matt Pocock's opinion. Um, personality. It's, yeah, so um, DHH is this uh, creator of Ruby on Rails, co-owner and CTO of 37 Signals, which is this company that makes Basecamp and Hay, which are two products that I don't use. Huh. Um, a lot of people don't like DHH, myself included, because he has really strong opinions that often are not just incorrect, but also offensively so, and harmfully so. Um, I'm trying to say this in a uh, 
neutral, non-biased manner. Um, one of those opinions among many is that types aren't worth it, which is, it's okay to say that you prefer not having types, but to flat out say they're not worth it is stupid. This is a stupid opinion. The smart, okay opinion is, I don't like it for my use cases, but there are other use cases that I recognize people have had value from it. I think we should be not, we should be fair here that sometimes types are not the right solution. But to say that they always are the solution or are never the solution is foolish. Now, I, I think I'm actually misphrasing DHA's opinion. I, I want to say, um, I want to say that, um, I want to say that they've like put a few caveats of like, okay, um, it's okay if you like it, but we don't. But um, there's there's nuance here, and also DHH is just kind of a turd. So <sighs> I think it wasn't a, a big deal about removing types. My issue was how much of a whole thing he made announcing it. Yeah, DHH is not particularly good at uh, nuanced opinions or announcing them. Anyway, it's been half an hour, and I really do need to go back. So this was a pleasure. I'm sorry I can't talk more. I'd love to stop for a minute, think, and then give a better phrasing of my thoughts on here. But uh, go engage in in online discourse if you want. Ryan, hello again. But thanks, y'all. This was a pleasure. Um, I don't see anyone that um, I'm following streaming. So anyone I want to suggest someone that I should that I should uh, raid? Who we? Good boy, Ryan. What? I will never understand why Twitch, I mean, I understand why, but I never appreciate that Twitch just keeps showing me, like, bosoms. I don't want bosoms, you know? Good for you for having a body you're happy with, but, um... Oh, look, there I am. I, yeah, Prime is fun. No more types of rust drama. God damn, I really wish I could, uh... Really wish I could stay for that. Ah, uh, well. So. Go from my little stream with a dozen people to Prime's with almost a thousand. Always fun. Oh, and almost for... Oh, shit. That's my uh, calendar. Lol. Almost forgot. I'm Josh Goldberg. Always happy to chat, open source, type etc. Um, please sponsor me on GitHub because I don't have a company job. I exist on your sponsorships. Bye for now. Cheers. <laughs> Lol.